Hey guys, Eric here again. So, um, before I get started, could you guys like and subscribe to the channel? But I'm um, going to get started in a minute and talk to you guys about pretty much what's going on with the car and everything. And discuss what happened in that last video that I uploaded, if anybody was concerned. Because I knew that video was a little um, confusing with the sound being all disoriented. So, trying a new thing and trying to use uh, voice memos on the phone along with an AirPod to actually get better uh, sound recording. So, uh, we'll see where we get to with this. But... Um, further ado, I'll uh, show you some stuff that I got in to hopefully fix the issue that I had going on with the car. So, as you guys know, I was having a fuel issue and pretty much got maxed out on my uh, fuel. So, what my goal is, um, I ended up ordering uh, brand new LT4 fuel injectors, uh, the high flow ones. So they come with pretty much everything that you need to throw these guys in. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure if you guys can see that very well. But there's that. Um, what else comes in it is this clip and some gaskets and seals. Pretty much everything to just throw them in. Um, Along with that, I ended up ordering or picking up from the local dealer. Technically, these injectors also came from the local dealer, thanks to Vendor Chevrolet for hooking me up with everything. Um, Raymond, specifically, if anybody's in the Clovis area and needs some help. But uh, new rail piece from the pump to the actual crossover. Got a new one of those just to see. Well, technically, you're supposed to replace these every time you do one. So, yeah, ended up getting those new injectors in. Um, just now waiting on the high side, the high pressure fuel pump to come in. That should be here tomorrow and should be able to get that in hopefully this week. Also, um, I have a meth kit coming in uh, with two 15s nozzles, but I'm probably going to only run one and then I might pick up a, an M10 nozzle so I can do dual, but uh, I believe M15's duels would be a little too much for right now. So currently, um, with this fuel issue, the car was being maxed out on fuel around 6K. Uh, so at 6K, a little bit before 6K, I made 620 down to the ground. And then about four, almost 5K, um, I made almost 600 torque. So there's definitely some room to be had there with the extra little 500 RPM going, but with the added addedness of new injectors and a pump and everything being all set up, should be in a pretty higher range. Um, I'd like to see 700, but I don't want to run 700 all the time, so that that will come into play with probably the meth. But the meth I'm trying to only focus on having it as more of a um, a cooler instead of a power increase. But if I can use it as both for race purposes instead of daily driving, um, I might be able to up the meth to actually increase power. But I don't want to rely on it because bad things could happen. I'm pretty much, once all this stuff comes in, uh, more than likely I'm maxed out on what the engine can put down just because of the pistons being the stock pistons. So my next goals with this car is hopefully to get a cam and do internals and then we'd be seeing where we're pushing further from there but um, thanks for tuning in everyone but i'm gonna end it here and if you could like and subscribe and hopefully i get you guys some more content once i get everything in all right bye guys